What's up? Good morning, everybody. So, got some parts in for the Trans Am today. We're going to take care of a couple things and uh, hopefully see if it drives any better. But before then, I have to go to work, unfortunately. Got to go see the man. So, <clears throat> I have been so busy, like I've already said, that let me show you how sad it is to see the Mustang parked under this tree. It's been here pretty much since Street Kings. Look at that. That is sad. Look at my truck. I haven't even unhooked the trailer since I got back from West Palm Beach. So I'm going to go ahead and move the Miata so I can take the Trans Am to work today. Because we got the power steering rack for it. So power steering rack, uh, intake boot, and some door bushings for the driver's side door because it's terrible. You gotta like pick it up and slam it. Ooh, and the old mullet machine going to work. This thing is pretty cool. This seat is so freaking low that I feel like such a tiny little child driving it. I have to like sit super straight up just to be able to like see over the steering wheel. So that's a problem I gotta fix here soon. So uh, today I'm gonna call Jordan from Modular Head Shop and figure out a day this week when we can go over to the shop and record the motor getting put together. Woo. Oh. So when this thing is cold, I think it grinds third, which sucks because I was not aware of that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if it's the trans or if it's me. No, if it's the trans. I had the clutch put all the way in that time. Ah, uh, that sucks. When I, when I first drove it, it drove fine. I went through all the gears. It didn't grind. So I don't know if maybe a trans flush will help resolve this or what, but uh, probably couldn't hurt since it's got 200,000 miles on it. So I'll probably go ahead and do that today. But uh, well, I know when it's warmed up, it doesn't seem to do it as much. And it's only third gear. So clutch in. Uh, I guess if you go real slow, it doesn't do it. It's really weird. It only does it a few, you know, a couple times. So, trying to figure out how to work the wipers here. sprayers work though yeah so uh, yeah when Jordan lets me know we'll figure out uh, one of these days this week we're gonna assemble the motor bottom end and bottom end one night and top end another or he said uh, you know we could just do it all in one night it really just depends on how late I want to stay so I'd rather just get it done but if we're gonna be there really really late it might break it up into two nights it depends on his schedule as well We'll get to it, but as for now, I'm gonna head into work and I will see you guys after. Freedom! Just got out of work. Freaking rough, emotional day. Can't handle all this brain activity. Gotta go do some mindless wrenching. So, uh,. <laughs> got pretty chilly out. I'm hoping the weather is good tomorrow because I'd like to be able to take old mullet machine here to the track, see what she does. You know, we raced Kenny and uh, Kenny's car runs 
I think he said his best time was like 14.0 at like 101 or 102, something low 100s. Uh, and you know, from a roll, it was pretty close, but uh, I definitely pulled on him up top. I think from a dig though, you know, it actually might be really, really close. It pretty much just be a driver's race. So I don't know uh, what it'll run. And obviously it's a stick, right? So driver, driver air comes into play. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to go to the track tomorrow, see what it'll run, uh, get a baseline for it. And maybe, maybe we'll be surprised. If I get like a, I'd love to get like a mid 13. So I'd be pretty happy with that. But I don't know if you guys can hear how the idle is like hanging right now, like 1500 RPMs and now it drops. That's that intake boot that's ripped. It's getting all this unmetered air past the mass airflow sensor and it just causes the idle to hang. Hopefully the part will be there by the time we get to the shop here in the next 10, 15 minutes and uh, get it replaced. I know the rack is there because it came in yesterday, but I don't know if I'll have time to do that today. Uh, probably just maybe do the the intake boot and the door bushings. But if Donnie wants to help me with the rack, that would be sweet. Because I'd rather, I don't think I'd be able to go to the track with the rack leaking like it does now. With oil all down the track. So, let's... Uh, head to the shop, get this little stuff fixed, and uh, see how she runs. Well, out here in the old Nights Automotive, <laughs> Kyle over there talking shit already. Yeah, that's right, I see you. <laughs> Got a nice uh, close-up for the old video. With this camera, I feel like I'm like a mom that's taking their children to Disney back in like 94. Yeah, but you need a plate, 94. Uh, you need a big one on the shoulder. Like yeah, I just need a fanny pack. So we got the old uh, intake boot. Gonna go uh, swap her out. So this is what I've been dealing with here. This thing's just been torn right here. There's nothing there and it's just letting air in left and right. So we got this new one to replace it. Oh man, so shiny. Oh yeah, gonna get her done. Well, out with the old and in with the new. Problem is idle still hangs, so. Still got some issues. Yep, talking to myself again. You gotta know every time I'm around. Crazy. Loco. Uh -oh. And I remember uh -oh. you were saying something. I thought you were either talking to me or you knew you were, but I was like, I have no fucking clue. And you were recording all the time. <laughs> every time you were talking to me, you were me, I was looking down. Someone even commented because I was like, I'm making a video of Kyle. And there, someone commented, yeah, zip it, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep, keep it coming. All right, so we got this. I think it's, is it charging? I can't tell. <laughs> I just own the place. I think it's plugged in. I hope it's plugged in. It's plugged in. Oh, it's charging. So we got uh, Kyle's laptop charging here. Gonna get the old HP tuner action on, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Woo! That handsome yeah, devil. It's a racing one. What? It's a racing line. A racing line? Yeah. What's a racing line? Line the screen right there. Oh. <laughs> Got them custom racing stripes. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. What? I was like, maybe the seats are just full. Now I 
Cyrus. You know what's crazy? When I put the scanner in the back seat, I'm like, why is there water here? I didn't even say anything because I'm just like, it probably just leaks water. I was like, it feels like, it feels wet. But I'm like, maybe the seat's just cold because it's this. And then I saw the water bubble fall. And I was like, no, there's fucking water. It's definitely water. Yep. And now my ass is wet. Do before I think I piss myself from the road. Yep. Straight piss. How old are you, Kyle? Pull it together. I thought I was 30. I guess I'm fucking three. Nice automotive PP shop here. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck win back with the motherfucking water bottles. Who's, whose customer's car is this? I'm pissing his car. <laughs> I will say whoever's car it is looks pretty sick. So, <laughs> all right, hold on. So Kyle's a little mad. <laughs> Literally yesterday, he got into a car, or like Saturday when I was here helping him, and he got in the car and he was like, "Why is my, why is my ass wet?" And he's like, "Oh, dude, a cup of water spilled all over him, and I forgot I had a water bottle in my car with no lid on it because I lost the lid." And, uh, well, <laughs> it spilled on Kyle. So we are actually about to pick up the old HP tuners of the car and give her a little one-two. Here you go. There's one napkin. Serious? <laughs> this is what you come up with? I have a whole fucking thing on the wall. Oh, I went inside. It dispenses them. Can you bring this? Uh, I'm sure you got to the trash can. I should have. So, uh... <laughs> Good times. Uh, so I don't know if any of you guys watch Mustang Lifestyle's channel, uh, Andrew, but one of his videos, he kind of like praised me a couple times for the tune that was on the bullet when he bought it. Well, it was a combination of Kyle and I, and uh, not trying to brag, but uh, I think we're, I think we're professional tuners. Come down here to not nah, automotive. We'll, we'll set you up here. You know what I'm saying? Do you still have it saved in there for the bullet? Yeah. It's mine forever. That's special tune. There you go. Can you, you wipe your tears. Can you wipe my ass? No, off? I'm not. Oh, almost <laughs> took off your computer. It's all right. Can you, did you find the codes in there? Yeah, man. Woo! HP tuners! Ba -bram! Ba -bram! All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just hyped, getting stuff fixed. It's an awesome, exciting time. Oh man, that SLP lid with the Ram Air intake, know what I'm saying? I think this uh, idler control valve may be bad though, because the idle still hangs, which kind of sucks. But, we'll get her fixed. We do have this, uh, quite the power steering leak down here. See that little puddle? I've been here for about maybe 35 minutes, and we got a lake down here. Uh, what can you do? Right? Right, Kyle? <laughs> well, we finished up Mike's Roush. What? Oh, solid. So we got this, uh, on this bitch. <laughs> anything you can do to get an advantage, huh? Shit, I don't need it. Yeah, you do. Your truck's faster than that Mustang. Yours, yeah. Yep, probably. Mike's Roush is looking pretty good, the good old stage three supercharged. Race car. <laughs> It is. It is uncomfortably chilly in March. And I don't have a jacket on because I didn't wake up this morning expecting it to be 50 degrees. I didn't either, but I have like three jackets in the truck. <laughs> Pet boys, Kyle. Well, uh, oh, it's nice. Gone. You removed it. Yeah, took it off. Solid. Oh, uh, pet boys. Oh, yeah, you can see yourself. How's that feel? <laughs> Very awkward. <laughs> key is you gotta look at the lens, not the screen. I can't, it's so damn beautiful, I keep looking at myself. <laughs> we also got this uh, 66 in here. 
However, earlier a guy thought my Trans Am, what year did he think he was? Oh, he thought it was 69, then he said 79. That had to break his heart and tell him it was a 99. <laughs> we didn't even want to know what year he thought the Mustang was after he guessed this 99. 69, I was like, you gotta be talking about the Mustang. And I was like, looking at the car, he's like, I know what that one is. And I was like, you got no fucking clue. <laughs> we thought he was gonna guess this is like a 1918 yeah. Model T. <laughs> This car is cool. So Kyle just got done putting a Phytech system on it, which is pretty cool because it it pretty much just has like the same body as a uh, as the carburetor, but it's fuel injected. Pretty simple system to install, and this car is pretty clean. Just a 302, but it it really runs good and it's it's pretty nice. It just got done fixing a couple of wiring issues it had. I like this car pretty clean. And you got Kyle's turd back there. Whoop, whoop. Hey man, we need to get that 99 running. Yeah, but we need to get it tuned properly. I was supposed to have a fucking master tuner. I put a tune in that bitch. It's probably ready to rip. I know. Why, why aren't we ripping it? Because I didn't trust it. I didn't put a wipe in it. Ugh. I didn't want to put no gauges in it. So that 99, first of all, was first touched by yours truly master I wouldn't even admit master that. technician pro they don't know they don't know you guys don't know Put that camera I love you <laughs> yes. nah, I think you're done on the camera today buddy yeah so you thought he was getting a good deal but you know what it wound up turning up to be a great deal a great deal I wouldn't go that far he's like oh wheel bearings are shot no axles weren't even tight so wheel bearings falling off So, I'm going to show you a picture of what the car looked like when I got it right here. And this is not how the car looked when I got it. These, these pictures were taken freaking, I don't know, like a year before it actually looked. And then I bought the car sight unseen and it was not how it looked in these pictures. But it's all right. Scavenge all the good stuff. Kyle got mad at me. Not really mad. He just liked to use it against me all the time. Yeah, all the broken shit I had to fix. All what? the injector clips, none of them held on. Had 32 misfires on a V8. Yeah. Wouldn't. Might be some slight exaggerations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. The rear end was bad. The wheel bearings were falling off of it. Um, In my defense, the car didn't even run when I got it at all. It barely run when you gave it to me. But it did run. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of shit I had to do that. All right, we got we to gotta get this thing tuned. We'll, we'll pick it up once we actually get started. <laughs> Uploading that America tune. Yee. <laughs> Woo, it is chilly. God, dog. It's supposed to be like freaking, look at the miles. Peep the miles, son. Woo. Killing in the game. I'm ready. For, I'm ready for that fire up, and to see if we actually got all the check engine lights off. Put oh. a limiter on there for you. This limiter is the 160. I'm pretty sure that's fine. It's really 10. <laughs> Screw you, man. <laughs> Better change that before you forget. <laughs> I've already brought the tune to it. Turn the fans on and off. Uh. You can disable your AC. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to know what friendship looks like? <laughs> Not this. <laughs> 16 gallons? Good lord. Did you already upload it? Yes. Yeah, Let's fire this bad Larry up. Can you leave it plugged in just in case we see what codes pop up? Yeah. I'm going to need you to take the helm of the camera. <laughs> Woo! God, dog, it's cold. What sucks about this business is when people pull in here, you get all excited, and then they turn around. <laughs> they just use this for a giant U-turn. Out here in Oviedo, uh, you wanna do this? the crown jewel of Orlando. I'll, uh, I'll pour some water on the seat real quick for you. <laughs> 
Oh, that's the first fire up, son. Ooh. Get the yeah. heat going. Look at the head on that guy. <laughs> Shit. Shine that thing up. Oh, man. Friendship, not this. <laughs> if I didn't like you, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Should probably go for a little rip to see if it made a difference at all. You should. I, I can only assume you're max <laughs> zoom while I freaking. I don't think I'm max. Hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, that's Max. Where did the hair go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? It looks like my cat's eye. You have more hair bigger. on your eyebrows than on the side of your head. Oh, it's stuck full zoom. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's just stuck forever. <laughs> Nothing you can do. Turn the heat on to this bad boy. Okay, that's not me. What? It's just like, probably the eye act. You can turn the AC on. It's supposed to idle it up a little bit. I just turned the heat on. I didn't think the AC was going to come Yeah. On. Yeah. Alright. Let's go take our first spin. By we, I mean me, because you can't go. Unless you want to go. Nope. Follow me. I can't even find my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's go for a rip. Man, it is such a beautiful day when there are no gauges on, or no, no lights on the dash. No lights in the gauges, that is, that is awesome. So pretty happy about this, and uh, I think we, uh, we got pretty much 90% of the problem solved. We just need to do the rack now, and I think we're on to modding the car. All right, take her for a rip. Close up, don't call me. <laughs> We're good. We're professionals. We know what we're doing. Kind of. Although I wouldn't pay us. I probably wouldn't pay us to tune to the car. We're gonna see if it uh, worked with this torque limiting thing. All right, we're good. Here we go. get rid of the torque management on the car so you can give it all power pretty much all the time we adjusted the the fuel table um, so anything 1600 rpms and above now it's a little bit leaner uh, it was set to stock which I think is like 11.6 to 1 or something so I think we bumped it up to like 12.6 um, but other than that I mean it's not too bad. Drives good. Feels a little bit peppier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. Golden baby. Well, that's uh that's what I pretty much wanted to record today, just getting the car tuned, getting uh some of the things fixed. Although we we didn't fix the high idle, which kind of makes me concerned that it's the idle air control valve kind of sucks because those things are they can be a little pricey I think they're like a hundred bucks and I, I don't know about you guys but I always have a problem buying something that's like not gonna make my car faster but it will make the car overall better so I can't really complain so that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching tomorrow we hit the track test and tune and we see what this bad boy can do so Keep an eye out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.